Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Logan here and welcome to Bloodborne Part 2. So, in the last video we defeated Father Gascon and the Cleric Beast and went through Central Yarnum. Uh, very fun video, had a lot of fun with that one. And uh, we're back today going through Old Yarnum uh, to defeat the Bloodstarved Beast. And we're also going to wrap up some loose ends because at the end of the last video we found the Cathedral Ward which is a safe place where we can uh, go around knocking on doors and tell the survivors to uh, go there to, uh, you know, for safety and whatnot. So we're going to go ahead and get started here. Um, really excited for this one. This is going to be a pretty fun video. But without further ado, let's go, uh, let's go tie up some loose ends real quick. All right, well, like I mentioned at the end of the last video, uh, whenever you get access to the Cathedral Ward, uh, Yasefka gets replaced by an imposter version of herself. So we're going to go and talk to the imposter version of her now. Oh, well, hello. Let me ask you a small kindness. Okay, see, and she immediately oh, wants us to start sending people to her, uh, to our clinic, where, uh, she's just gonna kill them all and turn them into weird aliens. So, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. You're gonna cure them. Uh-huh. Yeah, cure them. What's your definition of curing, Yasefka? They are not to be feared. Ward for your cooperation. Tempted? Uh... Not really. Well, okay, she just wants me to people uh, to send people to our clinic so they can die, which we're not going to be doing that, Yasefka. Uh, well, not even actually Yasefka, just some fake version of her. Alright, gotta check up on my boy Gilbert, see if he has anything new for us. Oh yeah, then he gives us the uh, flame sprayer. Gilbert is such a G, man. I love Gilbert so much. That's so sad. Poor Gilbert, man. Free my boy Gilbert, man. Okay, so from my memory, the only places that we actually need to go to get survivors is the old woman, and we also need to go talk to Gascon's daughter uh, to give her the red jeweled brooch that we got from her mother. And I'm pretty sure that's really the only loose ends that we have. Speaking of Gascon's daughter, here we are. Hello, Mr. Hunter. You look after my mom. Oh, I have bad news for you. I'm sorry, but she's cooked. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I'm sorry. I shouldn't I shouldn't have even interacted with her. That way we wouldn't know what happens to her. Well, that's the end of that. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, why did that scare me? Okay, we finally made it to the old woman. The very ungrateful, bitchy old woman. Wait a minute. Or I could send her to Yasefka's clinic, huh? Yasefka's clinic is really safe. Okay, whatever. I won't. I I, I want to have a, a good playthrough here, so I'll I'll just send her to the to the chapel. Whatever, it's fine. She. Mm, I should have sent I should have sent her to Yasefka's clinic. Oh my god, fuck this pig. Ooh, I should have sent you to Yasefka's clinic. I knew I should have done it. All right. Yep. There she is. Really, genuinely, this NPC's only role in the game is that uh, she just kind of dispenses and gives you free sedatives, which combat the uh, frenzy status effect later in the game. And then she goes off and dies. So, I don't know. Not too important to get her here, but it's still kind of cool we got her here. Oh, she hasn't forgotten. Surprising, considering. I mean, look at her. Goddamn. Okay, well, that's a preposterous claim. This crazy ass old woman. Um, it is time for old Yarnum. Oh yeah, these guys. These guys are like, they're something. Perry, nice. Oh my god, I'm stinky today. Someone shower me. Someone bathe me. God, I'm so nasty. Oh my god. Bathe me. Oh yeah, then this. This is pretty cute. One of them invisible amygdalas try to grab you as soon as you grab that. I love the whole thing with Insight in this game, how they're just knowing that there's a massive alien right there that I just can't see and I need more Insight. It, it's so creepy and awesome. I love that so much. Ooh, okay, here we go. There is no way I'm letting these guys do so much damage to me. They're literally fodder. Reddit notifications are interrupting my Bloodborne video. Man, fuck Reddit. Oh, Lord. Okay. I know the strat here. We... we... Uh, what weapon variation do I want? Okay, so we dodge his bullet. And this doll comes up. Okay, it just straight up dodge that. Boom. 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 Who 
easy. God. Dude just got completely shit on. Okay. That's enough of you. Oh, uh, yeah. And then over here, it had we houses one of my... Um, another one of my favorite NPCs of the game, along with Eileen. Alfred, I, I love his quest line. I love how, like, crazy it is. His whole thing of just hiding who he really is to you, and then later on you just see how much of a psychopath he is. It's really cool. Beast hunter, aren't you? Yup. Guilty as charged. Sure, let's cooperate, dude. Sounds good to me. Ooh, fire paper that I'm never gonna use because I don't cheese bosses on, like, some of you. Be oodles for us to share. Oodles. I like the word Just oodles. I should start. I should start saying. I should start regularly saying oodles. That's a fun word. And Bergenworth. And the tomb of the gods. It's out below Yarnum, cool lore-wise, but oh my god, like in the actual game, well, the area itself is inoffensive and kind of short, but Rom discovered a holy is a horrible boss. Can't say I'm too excited to go to Bergenworth. May the good blood guide your way too, Alfred. Yeah, but um, I've always kind of like wondered about it. Yet again, I'm not too completely familiar with all of Bloodborne's lore. But these guys really did just go up to an alien. Like a weird alien great one that they had knew nothing about. Took blood from it and then just decided to start injecting it like it was steroids or something. Like it had some... Ma like it does have magic healing properties, but they didn't study the effects of it at all. I like... I find... Especially Lawrence... He was just like, mm, man, this blood feel good, man. Man, this blood feel pretty good. Let's uh, start injecting it into our bodies without knowing what it does. You know what? Let's make it widespread. Let's make everyone do it. Like, yet again, I'm not too familiar with all of the lore, but um, seems pretty damn silly. Not that I dislike it, though. If anything, like, if that is just... If the way I'm interpreting the lore is the way that it's actually supposed to be, then I kind of find it hilarious. It actually makes me like Lawrence even more. Because, like, what? He's just an idiot <laughs> he's just an idiot and i really like that time to enter old yarnum let's do this oh yeah but first there's a wolf can't believe he thought he was him get humbled oh yeah antidotes we're gonna be needing that for the uh for the blood starved beast for sure the town is long abandoned hunters not wanted here man i don't give a fuck we going in anyways I really like the lore of Old Yarnum, just the fact that it's completely abandoned. Home only to beasts now. Oh. I forgot about Hunter Durja, I think his name is. His whole role in this area is to just sit there with a fucking Gatlin gun on top of a roof and shoot you. He's so annoying. Okay, that's kind of a sick line. Actually, I don't think I care if he's annoying, if he's going to be dropping fucking banger one-liners like that. Dude. Blood thought he could get away from me. How silly of him. Okay, so I can just kind of all one spam these guys. Parry? Big. These guys are kind of cute. They're like little, little beasts. They're like beasts, but they're so small that they're not really intimidating. It kind of makes them weirdly cute. Does not open from this side. Everything in this Souls games just never open from the side you're trying to open them from. It's in every single one of the games, every single time. Six blood vials. Feeling generous today, huh? You know, let me go and use one. And yeah, I can just kind of R1 spam these guys. I don't really have to worry about them too much. Dude, I love the R2 on the Hunter Axe. It's so useful. Yep. I appreciate this, man. You're really stroking my ego here. You're really making me feel like a bad bitch. Yeah, see, there he is up there. You see the fucking bastard? Alright, so for anyone uh, who doesn't really know the strat, if you are looking into replaying Bloodborne here soon, or just if you never knew about it, by far the best strategy to go through Old Yarnum is to just immediately get up there and run up to him and push him off the ledge. And when I say get up there as soon as possible, I'm just going to skip through a lot of the area and speed run up there and just see if I can deal with him, like, really early. Yeah, see, look at this bastard, man. This guy's so annoying. Oh my god, then this part, there's just a bunch of explosive barrels that he shoots. It's best to just speed run through. Boom. Okay, nice, that's a big speed run. Got all these enemies interrupting my any percent speed run of old Yarnum, oh my god. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run past all of these guys. Because yet again, the goal is to just immediately get up there. The earlier we get up here, 
the better. Because then we can actually freely explore. Blood is climbing the ladder after me. Oh no. Yeah, come on, buddy! About to play fucking whack-a-mole with this guy. Yeah, come on! Yeah! Hey, buddy! No! No! Oh my god. Okay, that guy's corpse falling is fucking hilarious. Is this guy still up here? Um... Can I get up? Please? Okay. Okay, so I think we're gonna go longer reach. Use the tricked form of the weapon. The strategy is to run up to him immediately. As fast as possible. Lock onto him and hit him off. And let's pray to God that we can do this first try. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it may be best if I use the non-tricked version so I can stun lock him. Because he has a smaller weapon, so I think he may be able to break me out of my attack combo and be able to stay on the ceiling. So we're going to go big brain. We're going to use the small, untricked version of our axe and hope we can do this. Easy. Oh my god. Get pissed on. Thought he was the MC. Oh my god. What an idiot. God. I don't feel bad for him at all. What a stupid idiot poo-poo pants. Oh, and then for the people who are wondering, well, how do I get the item? What you do is you just close the game and reopen it and just reload it up. And then it resets the item to where he was. So we can actually get his uh, hunter badge. Yep, see, look at that. Powder keg hunter badge. Too easy. Little glue eater thought he was going to be able to stop me. Okay, and speaking of main characters, this guy is the main character. I'm not kidding, this guy is actually the- he's actually the main character. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Nope. Boom. 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 Ooh! Dude! Now, I know this guy has blood vials, so it's important that we- Um, okay, random third party? Hello? Worse. No, man, no. Ooh, nice, and the fire is doing double the damage to him, basically? His weapon is faster, which makes it incredibly... No, no, no! Heal up, heal up, heal up. Heal up, heal up. Oh my god, this guy is so scary. God, this guy is such a fucking piece of shit! Okay, I'm trying to... Okay. I want... Oh. Why am I emoting? Bro! Okay, come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, watch, guys. I want to show everyone the god strat. If, if you can get him to walk into the fire. Come on. Come on, do it. It's so funny. Please do it. Please do it. It's so funny. Come on. Die, die, die. No! Come on! Into the fire. Into the fire, dude. See, that's so funny. What a fucking idiot. Oh my god, it's so funny. Cold blood, dude. Nice. We're gonna get a lot of upgrades after we're through this area. I really like that attack. The trick contracts whenever you dodge and then you do that, it's like impossible to not hit them. Okay, we're almost ready to continue onwards, but there's actually one secret that I wanted to show everyone that I literally didn't know about on like some of my earlier playthroughs. If you come over here, you can actually make the jump over there. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, it's a bit of parkour. But, yeah, you can actually, uh, there's, like, a good amount of this area left to actually go through. So, I'm gonna try to make this jump. Boom. Yeah, so then you come down here, and then in here, there's secrets. I literally didn't know about this on some of my early playthroughs. So, some of you guys watching may have just not even known about this. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay, I honestly don't even really remember what's in here. What's in here? I don't remember. Okay, a blood gemstone. That We can look at that whenever we get back to the hunter's dream. A rifle spear weapon. I've never used it, but I'm fairly sure it's like a weapon that is like a gun and um a weapon in one, which is pretty cool. The red moon hangs low and beasts rule the streets. Are we left no other choice than to burn it all to cinders? Okay, and here's here's the cool thing. The charred hunter's outfit. 
Um, let me try putting this on. What does this look like? You know what? I it's fitting for going through old Yarnum to be wearing the charred hunter's outfit. Let me take off the top hat now, though. It doesn't look as cool now. That doesn't look cool either. You know, I think we'll wear the hunter's hat with all of this. I think that looks good enough. All right, time to progress onwards. God, I'm sitting here playing this like it's like Elden Ring or something. I'm being so like slow and methodical. Okay, we're actually gonna go up from this way because this way we can actually get something to adorn the messengers with, if I remember correctly. But also remember you have to parkour to get the item and for some reason, I suck at this parkour right here specifically. So this may take a second. Okay, I almost just fell off. I almost just tossed the bag. Okay, so there's nothing up there. So all we're going to do is we're going to fall off down right here. And it's this jump right here. For some reason, I always mess it up. Come on. Let's get it first time this playthrough. Come on. Drop right here. And then I'm going to run past them. Because the shortcut, if I remember correctly, pray to God I remember correctly. I think it's over here. They're going to follow me, aren't they? Are you, are you going to follow me, or are you just going to stand there like a dumbass? Okay. He's just going to stand there. He's very confused. He's just running around in circles. What a weirdo. <laughs> Reclaim my damn blood echoes now. And we can try this again. This time, though, uh, preferably, let's not walk off the fucking ledge please okay now oh, i can fall off right here okay please i gotta make this damn jump come on oh thank god i i thought i pressed the button too late okay there we go bloody messenger head bandage that's nice this guy's still gonna be over here where did he go honestly i think that's scarier than him actually being here the fact that he's just gone now Okay, another item. Cold blood do. That wasn't worth it. Nice, and then I'm going to go for a parry on this one. Uh, hey, hey, we're, we're supposed to be fighting. What? Oh, but he'll dodge. Will you attack me now? This guy just doesn't attack. That's so weird. I'm fairly sure I noticed that that happens with that specific enemy on, like, another playthrough, too. It just looks like that guy just doesn't attack. Another one down, another one bites the dust! Oh my god, they're just all here. Okay, maybe I hit a charge door, too? Okay, that did something. See, look at this weapon, man. It does- it puts in work in crowd control scenarios like this. Okay, we did it. It is insane how many of them there are. If I remember correctly, there's not much actually in here other than uh, there's some ritual blood from my memory right here, which is like a chalice dungeon material. Uh, not really too important for us, but yeah, uh, it's, that's something. Yet again, I am planning on doing chalice dungeons. Uh, maybe just like one video though, and just get to the watchdog of the old lords. Try finger, but oh. Look at how antsy he is to jump on top of me when I get over there. Isn't that so, like, funny and kind of cute? Like, oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm really gonna get him. I don't know. I find it weird. <laughs> I find it cute. Like, look at him up there. Dude is just straight up camping. He's worse than every single Fortnite, CSGO player, and COD player combined. Sure is a shame that camping, uh, camping in Bloodborne doesn't work like it does in CSGO, does it? Uh... I love this part. <laughs> That's awesome. I love their little jump scare attempts. Okay, wait, no, he's actually shitting on me, though. Oh, yeah, and then down here is the door that you get to open up after you beat Dark Beast Parl. We love some good interconnectivity in our FromSoft games. It does not open from this side. It never does. I love this combo with the Hunter Axe, where you do the, uh, you do an R1 transform attack, and then another R1 with this. So you get like a short range hit here, and then this sends them flying away a little further from you, and then whenever you follow it up with the R1, that combo is so fun. God, I love that. The Hunter Axe is a decent bit 
like better and funner than I kind of remember it being. Oh yeah, and then this door just opens up to the very start. That's a pretty nice shortcut. Oh my, oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. Oh my god, no. No. Okay. I see how it is. Oh, okay, you have my blood echoes. You bastard. Get those back. Oh, oh yeah. Boo-hoo. Sit down, you fucking piece of shit. Fuck you. Oh lord, here we go. You can just look at this and tell we're about to fight a boss. I mean, this is just so obvious. All the burning stakes, a path perfectly leading up to this massive, intimidating building. You, you already just know we're fighting a boss here. See, that combo is so freaking good, and it's so much fun to execute every single time. And then we could summon Alfred for this fight, but we're not going to, because I'm a... I'm a Soulsborne veteran, okay? So, I don't need any help, okay? Quite frankly, I could beat this with my blindfold on with one arm tied behind my back if I really wanted to, but, you know, j just for the video's sake, uh, I'll just fight him normally, okay? But just know off-camera, normally I would heavily handicap myself. I'd probably do a... just a hitless run, probably. That'd be... that'd be probably the normal. The only thing is, I do have a lot of blood echoes, so by doing this, I'm kind of risking it all. Come on. I can take it. I ain't no bitch. I can take it. Alright, blood-starved beast. Time to get cooked. Blood-starved beast is one of those bosses where he's either really hard or he's easy. It just kind of depends. It kind of changes every single time I fight him. Yep, he's doing that, where he just kind of flies off. Hey, boom, charged R2. Nope. I wanted to do a fully charged R2. Fully charged R2? Hi, I am tossing the bag right now. Okay, hold on. There we go. Dude, why is he so hard to hit? He flies. No, I I'm not trying to attack character. Then we just attack him a couple times. We're doing pretty damn good damage. We really just need to be careful for when he starts affecting us with the slow poison. Nice. Charge R2. We kind of just have him in a corner now. R1 him. Charge R2 to the back. Oh, wait. Oh, Vitral attack his asshole? This is the best run of Blood Starved Beast I've ever had. Nice. Unironically, so far, I am actually hitless. Okay. I, I jinxed it. I jinxed that so hard. Okay, we go up behind him. Really, the strategy with all beast bosses in this game is just to kind of go up behind them. Okay, we just back up from him. We just kind of want to bait, bait out his attacks where he kind of just gets like, yeah, like these attacks. These attacks are really good to bait out. Short, short, two. Big. We're doing really well here. Oh no! Oh fuck! Fuck! No. Fuck! That's some bullshit! I was doing perfectly! Oh my god, that's so unfortunate! I choked! I choked! Like, in my head I was like, oh damn, I really need to use an antidote, and then that, like, really distracted me. Okay, we're gonna make sure we're full health, we gotta get our blood echoes too, we're not gonna forget them. Which, unfortunately, they're, like, behind him, so that's kinda rough. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is run over here, grab the blood echoes. Nice, got our blood echoes.
Okay, we're doing pretty well here. That attack, I don't really like when he does that one. Damn it. I dodged! What the fuck, man? Okay, whatever. Okay. Dude, he's such a little bitch. Damn it. Okay, man. Hold on. Miyazaki is making me itch myself. He actually hits for some crazy damage, too. I don't know why it happens every single time I'm fighting a boss, so it genuinely feels like Miyazaki is, like, fucking trying to make me lose. It's like it's programmed into the code. Uh, at this, uh, at this point in the fight, the player must itch themselves. Okay, Neon Trick it. Gonna take advantage of that. Damn, I was really hoping to get that last one off. I am getting greedy as hell, oh my god. Oh! Oh! Wait, what? No! Heal! Heal, heal, heal! What the fuck? This is some bullshit! Heal up, heal up. Get away from him, get away from him, get away from him, get away, get away, get away. Oh my god. Wait, no, don't attack. Why would you do that? Okay, antidote. Get rid of that. Okay, okay. Getting greedy now. Okay, I'm not playing as aggressively as I should be. That was ass. Why did I do that? Okay, he's stupid, thankfully. Okay, nice. He went in for a grab. Okay, we antidote. Big. I'm only getting, like, one hit on him at a time. Oh my god. No shit. Okay. Other antidote gone. Heal. Okay, he just keeps jumping back away from me. Okay, it's because he wants to do another... Oh, wait, what was that? Oh, okay, he was doing it. Yeah, I I, I I think I need to fight him a bit quicker, because now he's at his final stage where I'm just getting slow poison no matter what I do. I need to kill him a bit quicker. Come on, come on. Okay. Antidote. And we heal. Untrick our weapon. Come on, we got this. He's so close. Okay, now he's gonna sit here and do this for 15 centuries. Let him get up on us. Come on. Big, big. Nice. Thank God. Okay. It took me forever, but we got him. And we got our chalice. Awesome. Now, if I remember correctly, behind this big ass statue, we also have. Nice. Antidote. Okay, well that was the Blood Starved Beast and Old Yarnum. Let's go ahead and uh, return to the Hunter's Dream and level up a little bit. 33,035. Damn! Okay. Uh, so, I know we got a Hunter Badge. What is sold over here now? Okay, yeah, there's, there's some new stuff. I'm not really interested in a lot of it. Now, we can get the Hunter Chief Emblem, which will help us next video. Um, uh, I don't think I really need it. But I also don't really care to be too overleveled, so we'll buy it. Just that way I'm not, like, really overleveled or anything. 
Okay, fortify weapon. Oh my god! Okay, yeah, we safe. Oh, but we don't have any twin bloodstone shards. Safe to say, though, that we can level up our weapons. There we go. That's great. Okay, and then blood gem fortification. Now we actually have blood gems that we can put on. So let's go ahead and select the best ones. Okay, it looks like our two best ones are physical attack up plus 1.4% and physical attack up plus 2.1% and charge attacks up plus 0.4. They're very small buffs, but as we get later into the game, the buffs will be good. And for our gun, we get blood attack up 1.8%. Okay, can't complain with that. Okay, are y'all selling anything new? Uh, y'all actually are. You know what? Just so I can have all the drip, give it to me. All the drip. All of it is mine. Oh, yep. And now give accessories to messengers and they will obediently adorn them. So we can actually give them. We got our first thing to adorn the messengers with and it makes them even cuter. Look at them. Oh, Ludwig. <laughs> Ludwig is so awesome. His lore, the boss fight, everything about Ludwig is so awesome. I'm really excited to fight him again. Will do. I will ascend to Odin Chapel. Sounds good. And I'll find the church workshop. That's actually something we'll probably be doing in the next video since um, I'm pretty sure the door to do that is now open. So we can find the old workshop and uh, get a third of the umbilical cord and everything. But uh, yeah, let's also go ahead and level up. Okay, let's see. How many levels? 27 that's fairly respectable oh we're so close to another level eh, it's fine that happened at the end of the last episode too where i was really close to getting a level all right guys well i guess that's gonna do it for this video um i had a lot of fun this video blood starved beast is one of those bosses where he's either a pain in the ass or he's fairly easy i would say we got like on the luckier end because uh, there has been playthroughs where it takes me a lot longer to kill him but there's also been playthroughs where i got him a lot faster than that so uh i would say that was like average whenever it comes to blood starved beast but uh overall still a pretty fun fight i would put that like probably b tier like b or yeah like somewhere in b tier i think it, it, it's a fun fight i, I do like blood starved beast a good bit but uh, i had a lot of fun with that and old yardum's a fun just short and sweet area as long as you know how to deal with dersha because my first playthrough, I hated old Yarnum because of, he was just up there with that Gatlin gun and it was insufferable. But um, actually had fun with old Yarnum this time. Overall, I had a lot of fun filming this video. In the next video, uh, we have our we have a chalice now. May want to go ahead and work on chalice dungeons, or I may instead uh, go ahead and go to the old workshop, get the umbilical cord, do all of that stuff, and just do Amelia. I think is yeah, yeah I'll, I'll probably do that I'll probably uh, go ahead and do Amelia next episode it's probably what I'm gonna do um but yeah don't worry I it, for any for anyone out there who's a fan of chalice dungeons I will get to the chalice dungeons and at least to the watchdog of the old lords is probably what I'm gonna do but uh yeah I guess that's gonna go and do it for the video I'll see you guys in the next Bloodborne video well actually I guess in the next video I'll be posting something different right now I'm following a uh, kind of a style where I, I do a Bloodborne video, then a different video, and then Bloodborne, and like so on, so on. But uh, anyways, that's going to do it for the video. If you enjoyed, like, share, subscribe, turn on the, the notification bell if you would like to be informed of any of my future content. And also down below, I have my links to my socials and my Discord server. Uh, pretty inactive right now, so I'd love to see some new faces in there. And without further ado, uh, Logan Ash is now out. Peace, guys, and have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Peace!